welcome in, welcome in. I'm gonna be doing a healing for both the throat chakra tonight and the third eye. Um, I feel like both are really connected, especially as we're kind of entering this airy season. I feel like there's a lot happening in the mind space. There's a lot happening in the third eye and the throat chakra. So like there's a lot of words that we're not saying, a lot of things we're not speaking. And there's just this chaos energy that's kind of going around. So let me know how today's been for you. Let me know how you've been feeling. Let's try to work through any of those heavy energies that might just be sitting there. That might feel maybe unsettling or heavy. So I'll do a bit of pulling for maybe the first 20 minutes or so. And so with pulling, it's lifting emotional states. Kind of creating that space of just peace and quiet and calm. anything heavy feel free to let go of it and we'll focus a bit on clearing that space up letting go of any heavy energies kind of finding our way back to the light because i know there was a shift we were in pisces energy and that's normally just very heavy energy dreamy energy but it felt dense and then between yesterday and today i feel like a lot of past wounds have come up or just there's a lot of inner anger that hasn't been released, that needs to be released. Hey Lisa, how are you feeling? I know it's been a rough day. It's been chaos. Yeah, everyone that I've spoken today, it's just been heavy energy. Even the people that don't believe in like astrology and all of this, they're like, nope, today was weird, today was rough. Don't know what it is. And last year, I remember the shift. I remember going from Pisces season into like Aries season, and it was a lot more powerful. But today just felt, it felt off. Yeah. I know a lot of us experienced that. So take this as a moment to kind of reflect on that. Kind of process the emotions, process what you felt, because all of it's valid. But also, it's the way of the universe kind of speaking to us. What triggered us? What is mirroring? What inner fears came up? Oh no. <laughs> I know, Lisa. Everything you said, I was like, what is wrong with people today? Yeah, oh, the moon was in Scorpio. That, that explains a lot. <laughs> that explains a lot. So if you want, take a deep breath, slowly exhale, kind of reflect on what you felt. You could feel free to write into the chat what you're letting go of, what's no longer serving you. <laughs> this is, I've linked this in my uh, link tree, but this is by Min's Piano. This is um, Taylor Swift's Red Album, all instrumental. <laughs> Right now, we are never getting back together is playing. <laughs> and I felt like that was a perfect note to start on. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, there was there was a lot of heavy energy. I was doing a Reiki session with a friend just now and, and they felt it too. Just everything was testing, everything was trying. Everything's a lot. Nope. Let me see. There was a comment I want to check out. So Reiki, um, the word itself stands for universal healing energy. It's sort of a life force that's around us. Um, what I'm doing specifically is kind of gestures of lifting that heavy energy. Yeah, it's Taylor Swift. <laughs> and so kind of bringing us back into center. So basically... It's a little bit of a guided meditation. I'm just trying to create a vibe of just peace, energy, a safe space to just kind of process and work any heavy energy you might have been feeling. I'm using selenite to clear through the room. I know as it passes over the camera lens, a lot of people feel that shift. Um, it's a similar experience to kind of walking through a doorway, I would describe. Do you ever kind of 
have a mission in your house and you're gonna go do something. You walk through a doorway and you forget it. That's kind of what's replicated here. But also with selenite, I use it because it's high vibrational to lift any energy, to shift the energy. Hello, hello. I hope that kind of explains it. I'm sorry about your dog. I'm sending healing energy. Welcome in, welcome in. I currently do not do um, physical Reiki sessions. Everything I do is online over Zoom. Um, and for Reiki practitioners, we're taught a very specific Reiki um, symbol that's used over distance that makes it just as effective, just as effective and powerful. And so everything, everything you need is going to be in my bio. Um, signing up for one-on-ones, meditation apps. I've been slowly updating Patreon as well to have more sound healing. Yep. So because I use the distance symbol beforehand or visualization of it, it's been helpful. Today wasn't that bad, maybe chilly. I think we were in the, like the upper 50s. So it wasn't too bad in Brooklyn. I am a master level Reiki practitioner. Um, I took a course online and it took maybe a month for me to fully do, but it, it's more about the practicing. So you could learn theory, but it's actually diving into it, practicing on others, figuring out how to practice on others. <clears throat> and the more you practice, the stronger you become. Hey, Missy, how are you doing? Yes, Reiki works over the phone. Yep, I'm in Brooklyn. I was attuned by a master. So we go through the theory and everything there, and then at the end, she does a session of attuning you to the master symbol. Then I read another book recently called Psychic Reiki, and so that kind of taps into a different energy uh, by, I think it was Brett Brabble. Yes, I do have a YouTube that is linked in my um, link tree. Yep, after you've been attuned, you kind of take your own thing with it. So I've been attuned to um, Usui Reiki, I am in uh, Williamsburg, Brooklyn. It's a good book. It's about the visualization. And so it's more about the compassion you want to bring the healing with. You can't have bad intention while doing it. You have to envision helping and healing others. For me, it's visualization. For others, it could just be a description. So what I do on my one-on-one -on -one sessions, I kind of describe exactly what I'm seeing, what I'm feeling, what energies come up, because I know the description helps, especially for those of us that can't visualize. I think we're all star seeds. Isn't that how that works? We travel from world to world. learning different things. Yes, I'm working specifically on throat chakra and third eye chakra tonight. Um, so you will, but you'll feel this everywhere because Reiki is an intuitive energy. It knows how to heal. It knows what to heal. I feel like everyone's stressed out. I feel all of it. I haven't really used symbols too much, only on my one-on-ones when I feel like this specifically needs to be strengthening. Um, I've also been working a bit in shamanism, so we used a lot of fire and fire elements there. Yes, I'm certified to do Reiki. Yeah, I feel a lot of movement in the heart space as well.
Yes, I, ju I just explained what Reiki is. Um, it's a healing energy. Just bringing calmness and peace to others. <laughs> if you're here for the vibe, hang out with the vibe. And a lot of people ask if they should look at the screen or what they should do. Honestly, a lot of people show up to kind of fall asleep, to listen to the music, to listen to the words. It's kind of chill. I'll probably be on for another 50 minutes or so. Yep. That's why I post these on um, YouTube as well. So that people can kind of come back to it. Because Reiki travels through time and space. So even if it was recorded in the past, it's going to affect where it needs to affect. Um, if you feel like you're crying, if you feel kind of sadness, it is kind of pulling up any heaviness, any heavy energies, allowing you to process them. And it's safe. It's okay. It's okay to cry. It's you letting go of what no longer serves you. Anything you want to let go of, feel free to just let go of it. So I'll be doing pulling maybe another seven minutes or so, and then I'm going to start working with crystals to do crystal healing. And so tonight, like I said, throat chakra and third eye chakra. There's a lot of energy that's been blocked up, a lot of things we need to say. We're in Aries now. A lot of heavy energy is being purged out. And I think there is a fire that is burning through all of it. And we feel that, yeah, it's kind of like hocus pocus, where it's like kind of bad magic that's been holding us back. But this is going to kind of lift that energy. Yes, uh, my YouTube is the same name. Everything is linked in my bio. Happy birthday. I see it. So I set the intention for anyone that needs healing to show up. So even if someone shows up confused or kind of disrespectful, in some way they need this energy as well. They just don't know how much they need that energy. And you're right. If someone comes in, they don't like the energy, they don't like what they feel, why not just scroll away? They want to be seen. They want to cause a scene. They want people to get mad at them and react. Sometimes it's hard not to react. But in the lineage I've trained, then it's about light. It's about bringing healing to others. Third eye is located just right here, just between, between the eyes. So that's kind of your visualization of your inner world, your thoughts. Yes, Mondays are Taylor Swift Reiki. <laughs> and I feel like it's fitting for throat chakra and third eye chakra, a lot of processing. So third eye is about mind, about movement of energy, movement of thoughts, rewriting that energy. It's normal that you feel this. <laughs> Trust me, I didn't believe it at first when I started learning it and then the amount of people. I want to change the world. And so that's why I do this. That's why I do it at least once for the week for free. The idea is that I think in one of Joe Dispenza's books, he talks about it. Even in a lot of studies, they talk about it. If you get a group of people together and get them into a meditative state, and visualizing peacefulness and happiness and joy, you elevate the planet's vibration. You change the frequency. You change the area around you. And that's just been my experiment. Kind of we're all in this weird dance. So I see myself as a conductor of an orchestra. And each of you are tapping into energy you didn't know that you could tap into. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Crying is just processing emotions and energies. Yeah. 
Everyone, please follow Lisa. Please follow Queen of Cups Tarot. It's kind of like being caressed, and I think that's why a lot of people feel it as well. It is an intimate practice because it is playing with others' energies. That's why you have to accept it in some way. Um, lives I try to do at least once for the week. Normally it's Fridays at 9 or 9.30 Eastern. Um, and then a lot of times I will post these after, uh, whenever it loads. So maybe the next day on um, YouTube. On YouTube, I have linked in my um, bio. I'm trying to post things on Patreon as well. Um, just so that there's different options. So you could work one-on-one -on -one with me. Patreon, I'm doing a lot of sound healing. And like smaller Reiki sessions. So that's another way to help support if you feel called to. No worries. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you feel connected to it. Every Reiki practitioner does different does different things. So their energies are different. They might work with different vibrations that they're able to tap into. You might feel anger just in the sense that maybe there's anger you haven't processed or been through and that might be coming up if the energy is too heavy feel free to just take a break from it for a little while <laughs> glad you're here with reiki it's been almost two years that i've been practicing reiki um Yeah, every, all my sessions are done online right now. One day I'd like to open up a place where I could do them in person. One day. Yep. <laughs> Mondays are Taylor Swift. Tonight I chose red. We are in airy season and I feel like there's been a lot of red energy. <laughs> I wouldn't, if, if when I do start doing... Um, in person sessions, I would use crystals to symbolize each chakra point. So that's why it's like just the same is kind of what I'm doing now. Because my one on one sessions, they work like they're meditations, they're meditations and journeys utilizing Reiki, utilizing shamanism, and us using kind of fire to recharge. Hey, Nurse Nick, how are you doing? Um, it can. Um, astrology doesn't really affect the energy used in Reiki. Every time I've used Reiki, it, it's always been just as powerful. Hey Lee, welcome in. I'm sending healing energy. Uh, I'm sending healing energy. Um, normally this is, I utilize this for healing emotional states, but if you feel physical pain, feel free to just kind of rest your hand anywhere that you might be feeling and kind of imagine white light flowing through those spaces and healing the energy. Before my sessions, I open sacred space. Um, afterwards, as soon as the session begins, uh, that's the only time I'll pull oracle cards, but I'll pull oracle cards with the client just to kind of see what's going on, what we should be working on. Because it is Reiki, but it's also a bit of shadow work because we'll heal through the chakras and then see what we need. Do we need messages from guides? Do we need to do a cord cutting? Do we need to reach the Akashic records? Maybe we're trying to connect to an ancestor of some kind, but that energy is only as powerful as the other person is. So everything that you're feeling, this is your own energy that you're capable of tapping into. The hand gestures only remind you what you can tap into. 
And so for some it seems odd and it seems weird, but it's exactly like a conductor in the orchestra. They point and they tell you what to play, when to play. Reiki is used for healing. It's an energetic healing, it heals the energetic body. So here we have the physical body, the emotional body, and then the part of us that's just pure energy. And so the theory is that when the energetic body is damaged or distorted by different things, things that happen in the physical realm, emotional energy, that affects the body and how it functions. So what this is is kind of creating a safe space to process any energy that you haven't been processing, letting go of any energy that no longer serves you, allowing you to heal, connecting back to kind of that soul energy. Oracle cards are kind of like tarot cards. For me, they're easier to read just because they're they're kind of vague. Um, but I'm able to tap into the pictures, maybe the quotes that are at the bottom. But only on my one-on-ones will I pull them. Right now, I'm just combing through the aura. I'm pulling any heavy energy or dense energy you might be feeling. But I'm going to switch after this one. We're going to switch because we're going to be working on throat chakra and third eye chakra. And so that's normally represented with blue, deep blue colors, purple colors. So any crystal I use, it's focusing primarily on all of those. Yep, my one-on-ones are posted in my bio for anyone that feels like working one-on-one. Let's work with some lapis, some lapis lazuli. I think that'd be fun to kind of do a brain scan to see kind of what's going on on the physical level, the mental level. So I'm utilizing all the crystals I'm using right now are just to clear up the throat chakra and third eye chakra. I want us to be able to think clearly, process the information we've been feeling because a lot of us have been feeling heavy, heavy energy um, and clearing the third eye. That way we can see everything and then speak everything to our own truth. Yep, the third eye. So the third eye is an inner eye within the mind. (laughs) The yawning begins. (laughs) But yep, once again, hang out if you want. If you just want to like close your eyes and listen, this works just as well as like a kind of a guided meditation. It's pirate o'clock. <laughs> Send you healing energy. I'm normally protected from the energy, but I've, in general, I'm constantly tapped into the earth energies. This is a rock. This is called lapis lazuli. Yep, one-on-ones are paid sessions. Because it gets more in-depth. We focus on what you're working on. We're focused on what you're, you're healing. Yep, minerals, crystals. I set my intention, and I try to keep it as clear as possible, to just lift heavy, dense energy fear, doubt, depression, grief, limiting beliefs, imposter syndrome. Third eye is where you process your reality around you. It's how you think, how you visualize the world internally. Take a deep breath in, and just slowly exhale. So third eye is a chakra point on the body. And when that's kind of closed off, kind of blocked, we might, we probably can't think clearly. We're overworked. 
mind is just kind of running its own stories, running around intrusive thoughts, depressive thoughts, sad thoughts. That's what you'd feel. And then the block throat chakra, it's sort of where you speak from, where you speak your truths. And I know a lot of us are not speaking our truths and it's hard not to. But we have to, especially right now, speak it loudly. Hello, hello. So if you want, imagine any darkness in the throat or the third eye, kind of drifting away, fading away. Letting up. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you found this. Before, so I open sacred space before I do any of my sessions. Um, that way, any of my traumas or energies does not affect anyone else. And that way, your energies also doesn't affect me. I call in different energies, spirit guides. I call in the earth. And I ask the earth to take the heavy energies and kind of transmute it back into life, into light. The intention is to create a room that's just peaceful and calm. Just a vibe. Because at the end of the day, that's all we are. Just vibrations experiencing life. have to figure out the timing of the crystals. I'll use this for another few minutes and then I'll switch over to another one. But please, follow my moderators. Um, Queen of Cups Tarot. Sure, um, chronically Ghosted. Just vibe. Just chill out. Take a deep breath in. Slowly exhale. Just imagine healing energy flowing around you. I'm connected with with all the signs because in shamanism you take um, you take different rites called the Munai key rites, and so the first one attunes you to all the elements and spirit, and that's also another wave of protection that kind of separates all of us. No, so far, I've had a handful of one-on-one -on -one sessions. Um, it hasn't affected me that way. Be I, same thing, I open sacred space before starting it. Uh, my sign, I am a Scorpio. My whole inner circle here is water signs. <laughs> it's all about healing. Good luck, Nurse Nick. Let me know your signs in the chat. My moon is a Leo and my rising is Aquarius. So it's like a helicopter inside of my mind all of the time. It's rather confusing. <laughs> so when I do Reiki, it also heals me as well. That's why I feel called to do it. It gives me purpose. Something I want to do more of. I'm trying to figure out how to make it work more in this material world. How do we do the things we love? Making that sustainable. All the signs. <laughs> I'm going to switch over. Let us do some blue kyanite. Ooh, everything fell over. That's fine. <laughs> Finding balance is tough. Every reading I've done so far, every reading I've had done for me is just... <sighs> balance, find balance. Same thing. Tonight is only for throat chakra and third eye chakra. This one is known as blue kyanite. So some people don't believe that there are healing properties in crystals. But it's about what you believe in. 
So if I say this is going to help clear up those spaces and allow you to speak your truth, why won't that help? Why won't that work? I feel like it's giving permission to tap into your inner power, your inner voice, your inner thoughts. Yep, here's popping. That's kind of connected to third eye as well. It's kind of that place where you process your senses as well. Visually, I don't feel it, but I can, I can, I can feel it. I'm more clear sentient than anything else. This is blue kinite. If you're stressed, take a moment, take a deep breath in, and just kind of exhale slowly. I mean, the entire earth is a rock, but is it not alive? Everything's made out of stardust. Everything space rocks. There are rocks and crystals in your phone that you're holding right now. Quartz crystal in the very brain of your phone. But yes, we will call it, we'll say just rocks if you'd like. <laughs> yep. You, that feeling the pressure is normal. <laughs> Hi, Crystal. <laughs> See, Crystal's not a rock, she's a person. Be nice. <laughs> Quartz is nice. Oh, I see you. I see all of you. I love selenite. I love obsidian. I'm glad you're here. This one is blue kyanite. Yep. Because blue, for me, blue is, a, is specifically throat chakra, but a lot of times the third eye will also be colored kind of a dark blue. So like all the crystals I've assembled are specifically just for those two. Connecting the mind and the throat, connecting you back to your inner voice and your outer voice. Oof. It helps if you want it to help, and if you don't want it to help, it will not help. You have free choice and free decision in this world. Whatever you think is going to work is going to work. Whatever, everything is just stories. Stories in our mind. Stories we tell ourselves. Heart chakra. Green stones. I use green adventuring. Um, rose quartz. Lots and lots of rose quartz. See, I would love to do Reiki to Nirvana, but I don't. I think that vibe wouldn't. It wouldn't mix well with what people are used to. Um, it's a cognac poster. I just really like the artwork on it. There's a woman just kind of hanging out. Drinking literally sunlight. I'm not sure for sleep. If anyone knows any crystals that are good um, to help with sleep. Or Nirvana Reiki. <laughs> I'll look it up. I'll look and see what I could do. How light, how light is good for sleeping. Amethyst. <laughs> Nirvana Reiki would slap. <laughs> We've got three more rocks and 20 something minutes. Blue calcite. Um, it depends which crystals. Some crystals are heavy. Um, I 
think someone said malachite is good for grief and i am sorry for your loss hey crystal <laughs> Yes, blue kinda opens astral doorways. <laughs> I think it's good to connect into the infinite, especially right now. We've been very blocked off from everything physical. It's good to step into that infinite space beyond us. See what wisdoms we could bring back. I'm gonna, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna switch it up. Let's go for some Solidite. Soda Light. Soda Light. I forget the name sometimes. Another blue crystal for harmony, for healing. Bring us back into center. Because, like I said, like I started off, today was rough. The first days of Aries has been, it's been fiery. Grief is tough. Grief, you have to sit with the grief, feel the grief, process it. Things I would do is kind of journal exactly what I'm feeling. Whatever thoughts are coming up, either keeping a book with you or a, um, an app. An app on your phone. That way, as soon as the thoughts and the heaviness pops in, you can process it. You have to write it down. Some people create art with their feelings and their emotions. Some create stories. painting, dancing, physical movement helps process that energy, but also being gentle with yourself. Meditation will help. But knowing that it's, it's, it's a winding journey, some days are easier than others, but honoring the light of those people that we've lost. self-care journal um for my patreon i did a full reading of aries energy but it's a lot of reflection looking inwards what is coming up what energy is coming up someone said remembering the good times remembering the good times that you spend with that person um talking to them visualizing that they're there with you imagining that they're there with you looking at a photo and talking to them For me, it's just clearing through the energy when I move it up and down. It kind of resets the room as well when I do that. Any thoughts that you have instantly pushed away. Also, any blocks you might be feeling kind of dissipating. The one-on-ones are done over Zoom. Uh, but they are live. And normally we work on something specific. If you, you're, if you feel something that you want to get rid of, cord cutting, kind of messages from higher self, deep healing, removing old past wounds, the Akashic records. Crying is okay. Crying is safe. This is a safe space to feel the emotions that you're afraid to feel, that you weren't able to feel during the day. Some Reiki practitioners do use touch. I personally do not. Um, I don't know what would happen. <laughs> the energy is already... If so many people could feel it at once, I'm not sure what would happen to an individual processing all of that Reiki in person. So that's why I'm hesitant on trying that. One day I'll try that, once things clear up a bit. If you feel like crying, there's a lot of heavy energy. 
it's a movement of energy. And because I'm also working on the third eye, it might be releasing old energies and old patterns. Yep, opening the dam. Yeah. Take a deep breath in, just slowly exhale. Yeah, today's been, today's been a whole day. I've been on for about 40 minutes now. heavy energy it's also a kind of dreamy energy you might be releasing energy from the solar plexus as well um, a lot of them I get now from Cherie Mystic or I'll check on Etsy and see what sellers I feel called to but on, on Tuesdays, Shuri Mystic does uh, Crystal Lives. I think around 7.30 Eastern. Solar Plexus is just above the belly button. So that's your sense of strength, your sense of power. Someone has tried to impersonate me. Um, that's why I turned off the downloads from all of my videos. Um, I put up a, po a warning, just a PSA for everybody. Energy healers, tarot card readers, anyone working with divination, mediumship, Akashic records, they don't reach out to you. We are not salespeople. We put out content, and if you feel like you want to work with us, we put the links in our bio. We never message you and say, you, your ancestors have a message for you. No, we, you need permission to work with someone's ancestors. You need permission to work with someone's energies. And so where we're at right now, I could vaguely feel everyone's energies when you sign up for one-on-one -on -one, that's that's a direct invitation saying that it's okay to work with the energy it's okay to help restore the energy double check someone's been using my username and just adding an extra y to the end of it um but if it if it's to sell something or saying that your energy's off or anything like that that's not me there's a lot of them right now and like TikTok doesn't really do much to, to like get rid of them. A bunch of my followers reported them. I reported them multiple times on. I made different accounts to report them, and they're still up and running. And I'm like, this is insane. For one on one sessions, those are linked in my bio through my link tree. I started trolling some of them, that imposter, they, they were impostering one of my friends. And I told them that I've had readings from that person before. They told me to send money to their Venmo. I pretended I did. They got upset. <laughs> don't, don't. If you get direct messages from them, nope. It's not real. And the thing is, a lot of us are kind of looking for that sign. So I'm going to just kind of be like, hey, if you take these steps, you're going to be okay. But any creators here, you're going to feel their energy. You're going to know that you feel called to work with them. And if you notice any weird spellings of the names, extra hyphens or extra dots or extra letters in the name, there's something off with that. So it's a bit of uh, discernment when looking at others. That's also why I do lives. That way you know where to reach me. That way you know which one is the real account. <laughs> I'm going to switch to a different crystal. This one might actually help with solar plexus as well for those of you that were asking. So figure out where this crystal came from. All right. <laughs> I will be using blue tiger's eye. <sighs> yep. <laughs> 
everything is just posted in my link tree. I love Tiger's Eye, let me see. Does this one shine? It shines a little bit. Yeah, this one, I picked up Tiger's Eye the other day and I was like, this is magical. Yeah, this one I love. This one I use a lot. Uh, do some people feel warm when they're... Yes, people feel warm, people feel tingly. Um, People might, people might even feel cold. I, I do not have fluorite. Any suggestions for E? I'm not, I'm not sure. That's awesome. Yeah, so this one's gonna restore strength. Um, it's gonna connect strength to the throat chakra. That's why I felt called to use this one tonight as well. I'm glad you feel energized. Um, if you have any crystals that are around during this live, Reiki charges up those crystals. Um, for me, I keep them close to some selenite, that way they're always charged. Maybe once a month you can charge them. But if you're hanging out, if you catch any of my lives or any recorded stuff, that also charges it. Um, for Cherie Mystic, all of her, I, her and I do one-on-one -on -one sessions and I charge up all the crystals that she sells in her lives. It has this nice shine to it. I feel if, peop if someone's left our life or we've pushed someone, up out of, someone out of our life, there's a reason for it. If you feel called to bring them back, I don't think there's a wrong path, but make sure it still exists within your highest good and their highest good. Does it feel right? You could close your eyes, you could keep them open, anything you feel called to. Um, a lot of people do join the live just to fall asleep. <laughs> also why I post them on YouTube. This works. Oh, that's interesting. Florida water literally stands for floral water. Um, shamans make it, shamans use it. Hello, hello. Um, and so what it is, it's basically, it's a high vibration, a high vibrational liquid that's created. Um, it's literally just vodka, different flowers, um, different plants and herbs, um, orange peels, lemon peels. And people let it sit for about a month, that way it infuses into it, and then they use that for cleansing. Um, I'll use a bit on my wrist and hands before the session, that way they're just kind of purely energy focused. Mm. It's good. It's good for a lot of magic. Yep. Three drops when you mop is good too. Because then you kind of create protective charm around whatever you're doing. Shy, how's it going? Sending you all love. Yep, holy water. Hello, hello. I'm excited. But yes, everyone, please follow my moderators. They're all amazing. They're powerful. They're intuitive. They guide me. They protect me. They're my soul family. Shy flying high. Chronically ghosted. Queen of Cups tarot. This is blue tiger's eye. So it's got a bit of blue mixed into it. Let me see if this side does it. Yeah. Malachite. I have a little bit of malachite. Um, it's a small one. So 
If anyone's kind of expe um, experiencing grief, Cherie told me that this helps a lot with grief, removing grief, releasing grief. Malachi is good. I just want to keep around all the time. <laughs> just processing all the grief. I like selenite and um, obsidian the most. Do I have azurite? No, I don't have any azurite. I'm not sure anyone that releases anger, but it's about shadow work. What's causing the anger? What's bringing the anger up? For heartache, same thing. Call back your soul fragments. Call back your heart fragments. Um, rose quartz, I know, helps a lot. Um, pyrite. Pyrite's good for attracting money. But it's all about mindset. Um, I did have one for heart healing. That one is posted up on um, YouTube. Um, after this, I'm gonna probably this Friday, I might do one on crown chakra and then I'll decide if I should focus on specific things or kind of run through each of the chakras again. For career, I'm not sure. Um, I haven't used Opal, but if you feel called to use Opal, I say go for it. I could do a little bit more pulling. So any heavy energy you might still be feeling, allow this to kind of lift it. And soon I'll be wrapping things up. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back from the nap. <laughs> Even if you fall asleep or scroll away, if you accept, you still receive the full healing that goes on. I'm glad that this helps. <laughs> I wish I could play piano. Thank you all for being here, for hanging out, for answering each other's questions and thoughts, validating each other. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sending you healing sending you light know that their energy is still there with you know that even those that are no longer in the physical they're there guiding us and protecting us i'm gonna use for the last few minutes i'm gonna be using a little bit of um amethyst celestial wand i'm glad this helped I know today's rough. I know it's been really rough for a lot of you. For everyone. I'm sending you all so much love. So much light. If you look for Cherie.mystic tomorrow, she's going to be doing a crystal live. That would be a good place to kind of start. Um... Whatever you're feeling, whatever you're going through, I would say like l Googling what crystal helps with this. So if it's grief, what crystal helps with grief? If it's just kind of anxiety, what crystals help with anxiety? Don't fight back the tears. If you need to cry, cry. Let go of all the energy. That way you could step into the new version of you. A lot of people say this helps cl clear up the sinuses as well. Fridays for sure, I do um, 
lives around like 9 or 9 30. i have it linked in my bio so if anyone wants to sign up for it my ethnicity i'm not even sure anymore i'm just a person of earth i live in brooklyn brooklyn is my is my identification <laughs> i'm in the eastern time zone Um, in a little bit, soon I'm going to be signing off. This one is an amethyst. Uh, they call it Dragon's Tooth, this specific one. I do like pizza. Pizza is good. Being impatient. I would, I would say, not even crystals, but shifting your focus. Um, look up something called EFT tapping. Um, start narrating things inside of your mind. Sort of like if you're writing a story. For the crystals, look up Cherie Mystic. Um, even breathing exercises, just noticing as you inhale, notice the temperature of the air. And as you exhale, notice how the temperature's changed. These are things that I use. Um, reading out loud. Should I just switch to ASMR? A lot of people like my voice. A lot of ask me. A lot. A lot of people ask me if I'm just doing ASMR. I'm not sure if I could do it. Some of the ASMR scares me. The ones that I've seen on TikTok. I love it. I love that it helps people. I'm not sure if I could do it. <laughs> I think, I think sometimes they scream bugs, and that scares me. I don't like bugs. I like animals. Um, I like meditation. I love doing Reiki and meditation. That's why for my... Um, yeah, guided meditation. So I'm trying to like set up the Patreon. If I get enough people, I could start doing more stuff there. Um, doing guided meditations, Reiki meditations... Um, healing meditations. I'm deciding what works, what's going to look good, um, what helps the most. Because I know it's about processing those emotions and stepping forward with it. Oh, does it? I need to research ASMR some more. Um, This is, um, so everything is linked in my link tree in my bio. So this is um, Taylor Swift's Red Album, all instrumental. Um, this is linked in my link tree. My Patreon is there. My Insight Timer is there. I'm thinking about going live on Insight Timer, but I'm, I'm not sure if I dig the vibe yet with, with them figuring that out. One-on-one um, -on -one sessions are linked in my bio. So if my one-on-one -on -one sessions are too much, I'm trying to put more content out on the Patreon. That way, um, it's kind of like you get this, a similar effect of healing and shielding by going through it. Um, if you tap on my name and go to my profile, from there you'll see when I'm doing lives next. Um, and then you'll see something called Linktree, and that'll that'll break down how to do anything with me. One-on-ones. Um, so Patreon is sort of like a community. It's kind of like, imagine if I had my own app to do things. So it has a specific profile we can we could log into and see whatever I've posted up. Right now I'm only doing, there are two tiers. Um, in the first tier, it's mostly just sound healing. Um, and I'm doing energy updates. So I did one today reading through um, Aries energy, what we need to do to kind of survive the airy season. Different shadow work prompts, journaling prompts. So neurodivergent, I don't have a, I don't have the best explanation. I am neurodivergent, but I don't think like how everyone else will think. We don't think the way that society thinks we should think. So those of us that have ADHD, those of us that have autism, our minds and brains are wired differently. So I'll see this and some people will just see the crystal my mind starts telling stories and seeing different things 
visualizing where the crystal might have come from, what else it might look like, different names, and I kind of go down different rabbit holes. Um, and that's how that works. I'm trying to think what else, if I'm missing anything. But yeah, so that's the idea of the Patreon. I want something affordable for anyone that kind of wants more meditation stuff. So monthly, I'll be posting things up there. Um, and then if you want to work directly with me one-on-one, -on -one, depending what you're healing, that's also linked up there. Yes, we think circularly instead of linear. That's a great way to phrase it. So like if someone asked me to like solve something or figure something out, I'm going to go through like this weird roundabout way where we can connect things that other people don't see the connection to and then end up with the answer that we need at the end. Um, yes, if you imagine them being healed, if you imagine them being here, that light will get transferred to them. So imagine them being kind of surrounded by a bubble of light, bubble of energy different things like that but i'm gonna be winding down now um trying to think if there's anything else <laughs> please follow my moderators they are all they are all amazing they're all fantastic they're all powerful um shy flying high queen of cups tarot chronically ghosted um follow sheree mystic for the crystal lives um for me i pr i do prefer because I, I like reiki so i'll prefer reiki um but i like the combination of reiki and crystals um but feel free to reach out to me any questions i met i might have missed you i have an intro video up you could go comment out there um and i'll try to get back as best as possible but i hope you all have a great evening i hope you all survive the rest of this week i hope it's a lot more calm but you all take care Love you all.